So a couple of years ago we went to Rome and during that time we took a tour of Vatican City. And as we entered the, this long gallery with um, maps of ancient Italy on the walls and beautiful frescoes on the ceilings, this verse started to play through my head. And as our tour guide led us through that place, through the Sistine Chapel in St. Peter's Basilica, he um, told us lots of things about the city and about Roman Catholicism. And this verse just got louder and louder in my head to such an extent it was almost like a roar. And that verse was um, John chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And I suppose that's the fundamental truth of the gospel uh, that we believe, that we can only get to God through Jesus and he is the way and the truth. And that's why that verse is important to me. I grew up on a farm in Kilkeel where mum and dad worked all of the time and uh, quite often it was my granny who played a large part in our upbringing. Granny had had a really difficult life but spent hours every evening reading God's word and other Christian literature and was a real example to all of us as kids. I have three brothers and a sister. Eternal things were brought into focus for me when I was 12. My brother's friend worked in a quarry and was tragically killed and uh, it brought home to me the importance of being right with God and I knew from Sunday school and church organisations but principally from Granny what that meant and what I had to do to accept the gift of salvation that was offered by Jesus Christ and I did so at that age. Life has been a series of up and downs since then as it is for all of us. And certainly coronavirus has been an enormous challenge both for the country and for us as individuals. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says that Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. And that has proved to be the case during this crisis. The beautiful weather I think has been a sure sign that God is in control despite what rages around us in the countryside. And as a family, we have been able to spend much more time around God's word, simply being thankful for the blessings that we have, uh, for the gifts that he has given us. I think the reaction of the church by way of the WhatsApp group and uh, the services have been a real example of what a family means in times of difficulty and how one person's needs can be supported by others. It has been a real, I suppose, example of the beauty and simplicity of what Christianity actually means. One of my favourite songs is What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong Worship. At this time of lockdown with everything that is going on it is easy to get fixated on the news and become anxious. This song reminds me that I have a loving powerful God who is in control, a God who loves me and cares for me, a God who reigns over all. What a beautiful name.